The Yoshino Cherry Grove here is a memorial grove on the Fairfax campus, and it is designed intent to mirror the fantastic floral show that's going on at the Tidal Basin downtown. We are fortunate enough to be here in Fairfax and enjoying the same show. My name is Eric Miller, and I am the grounds program manager here at George Mason University. The Yoshino cherries are included in what we are now calling ourselves as a level two accredited arboretum. And level two means you have at least 100 or more different species that are identified, signed with these little signs, and people have access to the database. The campus is all-inclusive as the Arboretum. Unlike some other schools, we decided when we went for accreditation that we thought the entire campus was a good prospect for a learning environment. Originally it started where we had trees on campus that the students wanted to label. In an effort to receive a grant to purchase the labels and the software that goes with it. We developed these signs right here, which um, you can see comes from the Patriot Green Fund, and besides just labeling the plants. This is part of the criteria that comes with becoming accredited, but it goes way beyond that now. The footprint of the Arboretum is every campus. We include the Fairfax campus, the SciTech campus, the Point of View campus, and the Potomac Science Center. But in general, we wanted the, the doors to be open. Part of the accreditation process is to be an educational facility, to be a place where people can learn, to be cognizant of sustainability and how the trees interact with human nature. It's a learning opportunity for not only the students, but for anybody who visits here.